Good morning. So I'm going to put together this 10 minute blaster. You can do one round and that's going to be solid or you could do two, three, and four. Okay. So when you're ready, roll your shoulders, turn your head. As you can see we're out in the front yard. You're going to have a lot of real live action people walking down the street. Yeah. Rotate through your wrists. Okay. Little turns. Hip circles. Especially if you just jumped out of bed. All right. Knees up. Heel toe rocks. You want to get your breath right, so you want to start breathing through your nose. Hold it, exhale. Good, let's just do a couple of these guys. Inhale, lift it. Exhale, take it down. You can even kind of lock in the wrist a little bit there. Okay, and now we're just going to move. The key is, like if you're in your house, Things aren't shaking off the shelves. You just, it's light through the feet and then open, and this kind of hits different muscles in your legs. And then together. We call this fast feet. Running in place, super useful. All right, so once you get a nice tempo, and it could be slow, it could be fast, do some extensions up top. Make sure you're breathing. Trust me, it's a lot harder to talk and do it than just to keep the breath flowing and open and together. You can travel, you can be creative, you can cha-cha. A lot of times we're hitting on the front of the foot, you can hit to the heels. It hits your quads like crazy and go. Breathe. Now I have some 10 pound weights I'm going to utilize in a second. Take it up top, take it up top, cameraman. I have some 10 pound weights. You can use cans of soup. You can use two pound weights. Whatever's clever, right? You could use nothing. Go faster. Kind of sink down into it. Breathe. So the calves should be feeling some heat at this point. Breathe. Shoulders are moving. We're gonna count it down. Five, four, three, two, one. So if you have a jump rope, you can bring it in. If not, fake jump ropes. I'm going to say about 20. Good. And again, here we are. Fast feet. Breathe. Don't let it get boring, so move around. You can do circles. Just keep your feet moving. Open and close. Breathe. Okay? We're going to steady down through the feet. Squats, not that 90 deep bottom to the floor, like a 45. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I like to change positions. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to the front. Are we having fun? Other side. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and run it out. Holy cow. Right? We haven't even gone anywhere. We're still here. One little spot. Breathe. Keep your feet doing interesting things. Your heart rate's getting up. Make sure you have your breath going. Right? Fake jumps. 10, 
And take a break. Woo! Water is only good if you put this inside. Having it in your bottle is good. But you gotta drink it. As you can see, I'm breathing pretty heavily. I'm sitting on my couch watching the news. <laughs> you know, eating potato chips. But, you know, if we're going to be here for a while, we definitely have to uh, keep our hearts conditioned. Respiratory system in check, especially right now. So this is where you would get, you know, whatever weight of your choice. I like to do it like this. We're going to do hammers. The head of the weight is on your thigh. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Hello, sunshine. Right? Right? Now we're going to tighten up our stance and shrugs. And they're not to the front. The shrugs are going to rock to the back. Trying to hit those back muscles and shoulders. Five. Four. We're going to do eight all day. Three. Two. And resist coming down for one. Awesome. Back to the front. We're going to do three rounds. Not putting the weights down if we can help it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Narrow it up. I don't know. Shrug it up. Just really loose arms, like I don't know. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Last set. Listen, you got some chains laying around, buckets of water. Use that. Right? I say four. Three. Starts a little heavy on that last round. Two. One. Last shrug it up. Eight. Really utilize this. It's our last set, so we can milk it. Good. Come on now. Say four. Three. Two, last one. Okay, so if you have a back issue, find something tall to put your weights on, or take it all the way down, squat it down, let it go. Shake out your wrist, we're not in a hurry. Rotate through the wrist, take a breath. Let's take three. Just for fun, let's run it out. Come on. Think football drills. You know, sports drills are super fun. Your agility, speed, strength, all that stuff together. Together and apart. It should be quiet. Heavy footfall means you're too much impact. The whole point of this is low impact. Right, so you want to bring everything up instead of pressing down, right? So it's up. Shoulders are moving. This is the last one we're going to do for this, so you can utilize some boxing stuff. Right? If you wanted to kind of <laughs> get in there and do that kind of jam, it's all good. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, done. Take a breath. Walk it out. Awesome. So, now we're going to move into something else. This is always something you can modify. When some people hear push-ups, they go, oh God, no. You can use a wall, right? So you just kind of lean into the wall, countertop, push off. What I'm going to do is just a regular old dirt in your face <laughs> push-up. Okay, so... All right, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're gonna take a little down dog. Got whatnot slam on the sidewalk. Take a little break. Good, five, woo, four, three, two, 
four, three, two, one. Take a break. Good. It's pretty dirty this morning. It's okay. Good. Take a break. So you're going to get 10 push ups in, whatever choosing you have of that. And then 25 crunches. I love y'all, but I am not. I'm not going to do that on this dirty sidewalk. But I will put a link below that shows you a proper way to do it. You can come all the way through with a sit up. You can do a nice crunch. If you're in a chair, you can do this workout. You can run your feet out in a chair. You know, you can definitely do a push up all on a wall. You know, so you can do one round of this. It's really going to, as you can tell, jack up your heart rate, get you going. Give you a nice little cluster of energy. If you want to really go for it, do a round. So you'll do this and then do it again, okay? So I would say up to four rounds will be good after that. And make sure you eat within 30 minutes, drink lots of water, and uh, we'll see if we can keep this fitness thing going without our gyms and without our community, okay? We can do this. Namaste.